Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel Budget with Sneha. On this channel, I do cash stuffing, sinking funds, savings challenges, budgeting, everything related to money. So if that interests you, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoy this video, then hit the like button. Today, I'm gonna do budgeting for the month of June. So I wanna clear one thing here that I don't have a fixed salary job. So we have a business and a farm. So we pay ourselves from the profits. So we take out a very small portion of our profit because most of the income goes back into the business and farm. In May, we did not sell any crop because the prices were very low. So we stored away the crop. So we might sell it in June or July. We are not really sure. It, it all depends on to the prices. So that's why we did not get any income or cash from the farm. And the business that we have is where we take projects. And, uh, and when the project is completed, we get paid after a few months. Uh, from that, we take some portion for ourselves. That's why uh, I did not get any cash from the business or farm for my next month. So I had some amount saved up from my previous profits. So we are gonna do the budgeting with that. The June's budget is gonna be super tight and this is gonna be a task for me. So let's see how I do it. And if you haven't watched my student pocket money budgeting video, then you must watch it. This is for the students. So I will leave a link in the description box, so don't forget to check it out. Alright, so here is uh, the breakdown of everything. Okay, so let's just ignore that. I already filled it. I'm going to start with my income. Okay, I have two major income sources and YouTube. But this month I'm not getting paid from YouTube this month. Yes, I do have other channels. This is not the only channel I have. To so the first income, I'm, I'm gonna get 5,000 rupees. And second income is also gonna be 5,000 rupees. Third is in account. So I have a spending account where I like to keep some cash. So there I have 17,318 rupees. So the total is, 5,000 plus 5,000 plus 17,313. Okay, so that's 27,318 rupees. Okay, so the in-account cash is reserved for only these four categories, which are my Wi-Fi, electricity, mobile recharge and rent. Wi-Fi, the budget is 530 because that's our monthly plan. Electricity will get 500. Yesterday, I received my electricity bill, which was 490. That's why I have budgeted 500 rupees. Mobile recharge will get 500 and rent is 5,500 rupees. So total of that is 530, 500, 500, that's 500. So total is 7,030 rupees. Now the balance will be 17,300. Okay, so the spending account balance will be 10,288 after paying my uh, June's bills, which are these. So the rent is due on 1st June, Wi-Fi is due on 22nd June, electricity I'm going to pay on 1st June because I have already received the bill. Okay, so I'm going to divide 5,000 rupees for these two categories. So. I'm going to start off with my fixed expenses. The helper will get 700 rupees and cylinder will get 500 rupees and the total is going to be 1200 rupees and now I'm going to be left with okay, so the balance it's going to be 3800 rupees. I'm going to do my variable expenses so I'm going to give only 600 for the groceries. Vegetables and fruits 300 meat 1200 iron 200 buffer is getting its usual 500 
house cleaning, it's uh, I'm going to give it 500 and self care also 500. Now let's count okay, so 600 plus 300 plus 1200 plus 200 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500. We got 3800. And now our balance is zero. So now let's talk about sinking funds. So sadly, I'm not going to do any sinking funds this month because as I told you, I am not getting a lot of cash this month. Pehle mene socha tha ki I will take out some cash from my spending account and we will I will do my sinking funds. But uh, as I'm not getting a YouTube paycheck this month, I just want to keep this balance intact so that's why I'm not taking out any and uh, it's okay I mean uh, there are months where you you just <laughs> don't get uh, paid a lot so you just have to like skip on few funds that's only totally fine I do have 5,000 more here which I'm gonna stuff for a different category which I'm gonna start this month so I'm gonna upload a video for that very very soon so we'll get to know what I'm gonna do with this 5000 rupees okay so this is it for today's video I hope you have enjoyed it if so then please hit the like button and let me know in the comment what other videos you want me to make if you have watched this video till the end so leave me a daisy emoji in the comments and I will see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye